Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we will look at a natural molecule called R1, which is shown to activate NAMPT to synthesize NMN and boost NAD, which in turn activates SIRT1 in the brain and promotes new blood vessel growth. First, a disclaimer that in this video we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Notogen senocyte R1 activates the NAMPT NAD plus SIRT1 cascade to promote post ischemic angiogenesis by modulating notch signaling. Ischemia is when an area of tissue does not get enough oxygen due to a lack of blood flow, and angiogenesis is the process of building new blood vessels. So this paper is looking at the regrowth of blood vessels in tissue damaged after a lack of blood flow. By way of background to this research, ischemic stroke is when the brain is damaged due to a lack of blood flow and is a major cause of disability and mortality because of the brain's limited regenerative capacity. The generation of new blood vessels has been proposed as a way to help the brain recover. R1 is a substance which is present in ginseng, a plant which has been used in Asia for therapeutic purposes for thousands of years. The purpose of the study was to investigate the effect and mechanism by which R1 promoted new blood vessel growth after a stroke. To do this they used sprayed dolly rats in which they induced a stroke. They then administered R1 via an injection immediately after the event. What they saw was that R1 significantly restored cerebral blood flow improved mitochondrial metabolism and promoted the growth of new blood vessels. In vitro they also saw increased migration, proliferation and tube formation of human brain microvascular endothelium cells, HBMECs, which is to say that it also had a beneficial effect in human cells. The mechanism was associated with a NAMPT NAD SIRT1 cascade and signaling to the VEGFR or vascular endothelial growth factor receptor. They demonstrated R1 promotes post-stroke blood vessel growth. So R1 has potential as a neurorestorative therapy. So looking at this diagrammatically, after a stroke R1 is added which upregulates an AMPG generating NAD and upregulating SIRT1. This in turn inhibits a protein called NICD, which then promotes the growth of new blood vessels through the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor. The increased NAD also activates SIRT2 and 3, which improves the mitochondrial energy metabolism. Let me provide a quick explanation of what NAMPT is, since it is core to the way that R1 works. We have NAD in our bodies separate from NAD's role in redox reactions, where it is converted between NAD plus and NADH. NAD can also be converted to nicotinamide by a number of enzymes, such as CD38, the PARPs and the sirtuins. NAMPT is the protein that converts nicotinamide to NMN. This step is the rate limiting step in the cycle, that is to say it is the one that decides how fast the cycle will go. And finally, NMN is converted back to NAD by the NMNAT family. Let's have a look at some of the results. Here we can see an imaging of the in vivo blood vessels in the stroke affected area. Sham is the control where an operation similar to the real operation was performed, but the stroke was not induced. MCAOR is an animal which had the stroke, but no further treatment. MCAOR plus R1 are those treated with R1. And MCAOR plus NIM are those treated with nimotapin, an antihypertensive drug that is used in treating cerebral hemorrhages. Blood vessel density, total length and amount of branching increase significantly after 7, 14 and 28 days of therapeutic administration of R1. Also the number of new blood vessels that formed after stroke doubled and the structure of the brain microvascular endothelial cells was significantly improved. R1 also improved the mitochondrial energy production function which is vital for all cells including brain cells. The citric acid cycle is the process by which mitochondria convert acetyl-CoA which comes from glucose 
into ATP, the energy currency in the cell. In the damaged tissue, they saw an increase in citric acid and glucose, a sign that the citric acid cycle was not running, so the inputs were building up. After treatment with R1, they saw an increase in the outputs of the cycle and a decrease in the inputs. In particular, they saw an increase in ATP in the R1 treated animal, where the area outlined in red on the right of the brain is the affected area. And they saw an increase in NAMPT activation that we spoke about before. Here we can see the increase in SIRT1 activity that came from the extra NAD after 7 days and 28 days. They also saw a similar outcome for CERT2 and CERT3. And finally, a look at the results on the human cells in vitro. Here they have HBMECs, human brain microvascular endothelial cells, which were subjected to restricted oxygen and glucose to simulate the experience of a stroke. They used a stain EDU in the central column, which highlighted these cells. The top row is the control. The next row is the one that had restricted oxygen and glucose and then was left untreated. And the bottom row is where a solution of 25 micromoles of R1 was added to the cells. We can see a larger proliferation of the cells in the row shown by the red dots. In summary, R1 promoted the growth of blood vessels after a stroke, which it did by initiating an NAMPT NAD CERT1 cascade and also improved mitochondrial energy metabolism. So it is interesting to see that ginseng, which has been used for thousands of years in traditional medicine in Asia, has been shown to activate CERT1 and boost NAD and blood vessel growth. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.